And again, like you mentioned in the very beginning, Monty, he knows how to press the advantage once he gets it and really deny the enemy any farm or any way to catch up. So we'll find out how this crazy composition unfolds for KT in game number two between KT and LZIM. Dangerous. Tucson, he does have backup. Now Fixer walks for Tucson's really greedy about this, but there's Atlanta. He gets headbutted back though. And Tucson is caught on to score. Scores is gonna get the first blood, gets the red buff back. Fixer just standing on top of the lantern, laughing at his opponent. Not committing at all. He saw that there was this big wave going. He's like, nope, equalizer. Don't want to be a part of this. I think that your Rengar's gonna- Oh, oh. but the flash is down. There's Chum the Waters. There's the Challenge Smile. And somebody going in for the burst. He is gonna get the last auto attack after the Trickster comes down. So Tucson trying to counteract that with a dragon. <laughs> Wow, but to have this patience from Apple... I mean, I it's fine. He's losing a ton of CS, so KT is winning this either way. Yeah, but getting a kill would be even sweeter, and he's being really patient, but here comes Ignar trying to deny the lantern. Oh, he just pulverizes right on top of it. It goes away right on time, and Apple goes down. And the kill going to someday. This is exactly everything that KT wanted. Really fast. Yeah, well, this is the game that someday wanted. <laughs> he asked for it, he got it, and Score is gonna get caught. He didn't ask for this, but there's a teleport coming from someday. Tucson gets locked up by the chain. Nogne taking a lot of damage from Frozen. There's the equalizer, but he dodges out of it. Someday trying to chase through. The chain of corruption will proc onto him, and he will get snared. Now he has to face off against Apple, but he's still doing a lot of damage. Flame Spitter comes in. Roar picks up a double kill, though. Clean up duty for Roar. Looking for a triple, but LeBlanc is long gone, so not gonna find an easy target. Single target oriented score, looking for nobody. In the mid lane, oh, he's gonna catch Frozen though. There's the snare, and there's the chain. Chain of Crusher coming out from Frozen though, with a lot of damage onto Nagne. Score does manage to finish him off with some extra attack. Boys from Nagne, and then a couple mistakes from Score early on. It didn't really work out Here too we well. Go. Here's on the hunt though. They're trying to find a target. Frozen flashes out, but that means Flash is down, and Nagne just gets his own chain there. Chain of Corruption onto Arrow and Fixer. Not gonna matter as kill goes to Arrow. Baron. Score's ult's almost back up. Uh-oh, Apple. Oh, well, Apple just gets obliterated by Nogni. He doesn't hit his E, though, so Apple is going to get away for now. Flashes out of it. Arrow being slowed down someday. At the thick of things, he barely gets out. The Silver Bow's procking. The Roar gets one kill, two kills, and now he's charging forward. Flash used by Arrow. Score did absolutely nothing in that fight. Really no why Tucson, I mean, the Fizz, obviously a threat, not from a magic Oh, difference. Ignar gets caught, and that is it for that support. Teleport coming in for Apple after the Glacial Prison. Nogne might be just equalizer right here. There's a shield coming in from Fixer. It's not enough as he has to walk across the entire length of the equalizer. Score also going to go down. What a good teleport in from Apple for the double kill. We might actually see three kills here for LZIM. They're going to jump out. There's On the Hunt activated. No Glacial Prison now. But that means the Baron should be pretty free. I mean, at this point, I think Someday should just keep pushing. Sure, it's sure there's tier twos, but like you mentioned, the side lanes. Oh, but here's a Someday. He already used Playful Trickster, so here comes Roar. Can he get the Condemn? Actually, they're just going to flay him back. There's the Condemn, and Someday just cannot get damage onto Ignar, nor escape. Good catch by LZIM going completely for the round flank. Right as they want to defend this turret with the wave clear from the loot. Oh, oh Nagne goes in, but it actually allows Arrow to be caught as Nagne bounces right back. And LZIM is going to get an inhibitor just like that. One mistake is all it takes 40 seconds until Arrow respawns. What more can LZIM do? They're going to transition into the mid lane. Now again, no minions though. Yeah, well, it's going to be pretty rough. I don't think I don't think really KT can make this Here happen out there. And here's on the score, flashes forward, gets the snare, but nice equalizer and glacial prison up to three people. Arrow on the side, Nagne has to jump out of the fight. And Roar at full health. Here he comes, headbutt backwards, but he's still ready for more. Frozen gets one kill. Flash over from Tucson to keep Fixer lined up. And Nagne has to jump out far, far away from the fight. Score just has to sit back and watch alongside someday. Roar didn't even have to do that much damage that fight. He just had to remain untouched, really. And he got a really nice condemn, though, onto LeBlanc, knowing that LeBlanc was going to be coming yeah. over the wall. And Very that'll good. be it. Looks like a surprising upset 2-0 for LZIM tonight. Wow. Well, it looks like uh, we're going to back out for now. They want to play it super safe. Actually win with a gold deficit. 
Oh, very convincingly, too, at that point. I mean, they're grouping up so well. Here comes Score once again. They jump on, but look at the equalizer tonight. The four people being burned down by the equalizer. But a double kill for Nogni. He catches Roar as Roar separates from the team a little too far, trying to get away from Fixer. And KT pushes LZIM back. They get four kills a minute down. Apple just trying to waste as much time as possible because there is an open inhibitor in that top lane. Someday he's on a mission. Yeah, he's just running towards that, and so is Nagane. Apple eventually going to go down to Arrow. How much can they get out of this? Considering pushing down that bottom lane. So LZIM says, all right, let's just let's just burst it down. And there's the Equalizer. Who's going to get the Dragon? It's going to be something. Four stacks for KT. Arrow doing free damage. Nogni comes in with the Distortion and the Chain. Not going to hit, but Arrow gets a kill onto two since somebody just drawing out some damage up front. Arrow gets caught by the Hail of Arrow. So there's the burst coming in from Frozen. Roar at 100% health. The Trinity Force is going to do damage. And here's the Headbutt Pulverize just to allow his teammate Nogni to run away someday. And they're Nogne in a war. And score. Uh oh. Goodbye, score. Gets it. Nogne waiting on the side, though. But they're going to get flanked. Oh, the Zonia's bait from Apple. It's going to be a double kill. Frozen and Apple clean up that one. LZ doesn't even have to do anything. They just need to poke and wait for the Super Minions to do the job. Nogne trying to put down what poke he can, trying to force LZ out of this. But I am really wants to finish the game at this point. Fixer trying to keep all his minions healed up. Someday going in. Nogne goes in for a lot of bursts, but it's not really showing on the enemy health bars. There's an the equalizer across the board onto the minions. Apple does get overheated as he just zonias under the tower. And Fixer has been chained of corruption. And Nogne just has to run away. Someday gets a kill onto Roar, though. Roar is down. Someday runs out. Fixer goes in for the headbutt pulverize. And Nogne eventually goes down the ghost a little too deep for that burst. The Nexus is open, but Someday gets another kill. He's on a killing spree. Well, Monty, I am glad I have an action-packed <laughs> game as possibly my last game here at OGN for League of Legends. This is this is absolutely a beautiful mess for both teams, really. At this is one minutes. of the worst Champions games I've ever <laughs> seen. Chobra. I am like almost in physical pain. <laughs> from this game. Pink board right outside the base, and here we go. Score jumps in with the Guardian Nation. Equalizer comes about. Everyone's already over. Chusin jumps onto Dogni. Roar is at 100% health in the back, along with Frozen, but Arrow gets to shut down onto Apple. Somebody's onto Roar. Arrow gets a double kill. Somebody running out of the fight, and Frozen gets to shut down onto somebody eventually. And there is literally no damage left until Dogni comes back in, but Frozen and Roar are still alive. Score still even has his Guardian's Angel. And now everyone, we're just going to flip the map 180 degrees and fit, fight left to right. Uh, but the Baron has spawned, and LZIM can take this down super quickly. Uh, KT can't push the enemy base. So on the hunt, everyone rushing forward. And can he get the Baron? The box comes in, and the Baron goes over to LZIM. KT does not get an early kill. They don't get Ignar right away. Arrow's going to go down eventually. He has to flash out. Someday does get a kill on to Frozen, though. And look at this roar on the run from Nogni. He's trying to lifesteal. Nogni gets the kill. Where's the damage left on LZIM? Can they Apple finish? has to run away. Someday KT. has GP. Someday's going to go back. The fans are going wild for KT. Oh, KT should be able to finish a big, this. Brave. I think yeah, they the, can. Yeah, they're just going to go. Even if the turret's there, that's where the minions are. Somebody making the right choice. It's just Apple, no equalizer. Ignar, sure, he's there, but it doesn't really matter at this point when all five members miraculously made it out alive for KT Roaster, and they will get the win and tie up the series in this best of three against Longju IM. It's going to be tied 1 1. We have tears of, I don't know if it's joy or just disappointment in the League of Legends <laughs> that we've seen in game number two. But KT with an epic 56 minute win. Well, that is one of the few games where all 22 <laughs> towers went down on a map. Wow, the only I, structure left standing I was one I do not have words for that game, Chobra. <laughs> it was very exciting. Exciting.